In this tutorial, we'll see how to use JSON query filter in Ansible. For JSON query filter to work, first you need to install a library called James path. The command is pip install JMES path. That is a query language for JSON. This will help you to extract specific elements from JSON data. This will be helpful while working with complex JSON data. We will take an example like we will use iOS interfaces module and gather the interface configuration and from there we will query some data. Here in this example we are querying enabled interfaces and description. We will start writing the code. I will go to VS code. Here I have already added code for gathering the iOS interfaces and printing it. First we will try running this data. this is the data which we are receiving from the module iOS interfaces. So here we have a key called gathered and inside that we have list of interfaces with description enabled name and all. So we'll use this data for taking JSON query. And here before running the playbook we'll verify the current list so I have already installed James path here by default this won't be available you need to install it using pip install James path and it is already satisfied here now this is the JSON query format here from the interfaces config gathered we have seen that key earlier we are going to take the devices with description. So let us try running this playbook. You see here we have only two interfaces are available with description. Loopback doesn't have description. So here we have description. Even these two interfaces are not having any description. So we are able to filter this data using JSON query. Now we'll see how to filter enabled interfaces. So that I'll give enabled equal to and here this is not going to be single quotes. This character is called backtick. So we need to use that. If you use single quotes, it won't work. Enabled equal to true. Save it. And now we'll try running this. So you need to remember this. This is not single quotes, it is character backtick. Now this is printing enabled interfaces. In this list we can see enabled interfaces. Like this if you want to print disabled interfaces. We can give false here. I will connect to the device console. Now all the interfaces are enabled. I will shut down gigabit 0 slash 3. And now we'll try running the playbook. Now this is printing the disabled interfaces here. In this output now we have three lists. All these information it is printing now if you want to get only the name of that interface you can give dot name now we are getting the interface name if we go and shut down another interface 0 slash 2 
now we are getting two interfaces here i'll give no shut for this interface and if you want to create a dictionary out of this instead of a name in the list what we'll do now we are getting interface in a string format and we will shut down this we'll try running now this is giving list of interfaces here earlier it was separate list for each interface now we are getting list of interfaces here now we'll see how to create a dictionary after dot i'll give dictionary and for the name i'll give the interface name if you see this output we'll be getting the interface name then comma speed and we'll try to get the speed of the interface save it and so we are extracting only the name and speed of that interface so we'll try running now if you see this list we have a list of interfaces disabled and we are extracting only the name and speed of those interfaces in this way we can use json query for querying json data